Daphne Caruana Galizia killed when a bomb exploded. Connected to the aggressive work she had done calling out corruption in Malta. Forbidden Stories was created as a platform to protect stories of silenced journalists. Threatened journalists can back up their sensitive information through one of our encrypted channels. Their stories will be held securely. In case something happens, Forbidden Stories will be able to access the stories, complete them thanks to its partners, and reveal it broadly. The first Forbidden Story was about Daphne. We coordinated the work of 45 journalists to review a massive number of files in a complete secrecy and complete Daphne's investigations with one common objective, revealing what her killers wanted to hide. Six months after her death, we hit the news. An international consortium of journalists is scrutinizing Malta as part of the so-called Daphne project. In one day, and for weeks, Daphne's stories made the headlines all over the world. Forbidden Stories, an international network of journalists designed to finish these stories and the investigations that was working on. In a week, hundreds of millions of people have been potentially exposed to Daphne's stories, dramatically increasing the number of readers of her blog. This is how a local investigation became an international affair. The European Commission will pursue this. We will keep pushing the Maltese authorities. We will keep pushing them. No stone should remain unturned. Today, we gave Daphne a new voice. And as long as journalists will be threatened, jailed or killed, we will keep stories alive.